Welcome to Daily Devo, I'm Pat. Today we're gonna to talk about Jehovah Shalom. Years ago, uh, two dudes that did pretty well in the music industry sang a song that most of you have probably heard at some point. Now when I say years ago, I mean a lot of years ago, as in this song was released the year before I was even born. In 1970, Simon and Garfunkel's song, Bridge, over Troubled Water was released and would win five awards at that year's Grammys. What Simon may not have recognized as he penned that Grammy-winning song is that in some ways, he was writing about our Jesus. <laughs> How so, you may ask? Well, one of the names for our God displays that if there was any bridge over troubled waters, it is most certainly Jesus. You probably know that we're spending a few weeks digging into the many different names of God because these titles or names of God will help us know him better. And when we know him better, we will trust him more. And when we trust him more, we will seek him further. One of these names is Jehovah Shalom, literally the God of peace. In fact, when the great prophet Isaiah was foretelling the coming of Jesus, he referred to him by this name. Check it out, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, <gasps> Jehovah Shalom, Prince of Peace. The God of peace. Now, the problem for most of us is that when we think of peace, we think about perfect circumstances and nothing disturbing our peace. It's the mother sighing in the midst of the chaos of children and whispering, I just want some peace and quiet. It's the person in the midst of the madness of schedules and deadlines and lots and lots of bad news crying out, I just want some peace and quiet. You've been there, I've been there, and some of you may be there right now. But notice that what our hearts cry for in these situations is that our current circumstances would somehow change. That whatever is causing the chaos would stop. The problem is that sometimes the circumstances don't change. Am I right? Ha <laughs> Here's the good news about our Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. The peace he offers is not only as long as the circumstances are conducive to peace, but our Jesus offers peace in the midst of the chaos. It's a peace that Paul, when writing the Jesus followers in Philippi, in Philippi said, doesn't even make sense. Why doesn't it make sense? Because Jesus offers a peace that is not the result of the circumstances being removed, but a peace that comes from within. A peace that is available despite the circumstances. A peace that can be known in the circumstances. It's the kind of peace that can leave us taking a deep breath and calmly whispering, I'm not sure how this is gonna go or what might happen with all of this, but I do know who does know. I do know I serve a God who is large and in charge. I do know that somehow, in some way, God will take this broken, chaotic situation and work it for good. And all of this because he is Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. You know and I know that in this journey of life, there is no way to avoid the troubled waters it's not if we will face troubled waters, but when we will face them. Today, right now, would you be reminded that there is, in fact, a bridge over troubled waters, and his name, his name proves it. Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace.